What's happening peeps and peepeds? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. In this video we're going to cover a couple of items on Raisa right now. Um, so if you guys have not seen uh, the videos that I'm going to do, check out the channel. There are going to be like a couple of videos that has to do with all of the events that I'm going to show you guys. If you guys are new to the summer event, you can take a look at that and actually see what it's, uh, what it is all about, what you have to do and like, you know, tips and tricks kind of videos. So, um, I also grabbed myself a, a new floater and if you guys, uh, there are actually, let me just talk about that. So there are a couple of ways to actually go about this, uh, road. So, if you're new to Star Trek Online, uh, this guy right here, the event uh, floater or floater event right here, is going to For give you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So this guy gives you a rental. This is basically, you know, if you only have EC to spare and you don't have these uh, favors right here, somebody's PMing me. Uh, yes, yes, making one right now. Okay, so, uh, as I was saying, floaters, yes, you can grab them right here uh, if you only have EC to spare. They're basically cheap, 1,000 EC is not something to, uh, you know, to write home about, like, you know, requesting money. They're basically really cheap uh, for EC, just to get you going, basically. If you want to get like you know the better version of like floaters and you know the um, the hoverboards, you basically need to pay them with these little not favors. Um, obviously, the better versions is going to cost you more and more around the one thousand of these uh, favors that you uh, can grab by. Um, uh, by uh, doing the events, you're going to get a couple of them in return. You can also buy them from the exchange. Uh, now is a really good time if you have them to spare to put them on the on the exchange and make a little bit of money. Um, yeah, this always happens to me. Sorry. So. If you have, you know, uh, a lot of them to spare, you can definitely put them on the exchange, help people out, uh, get their, uh, you know, getting their uh, favors up and running. And the 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 NPC guy, the right there is basically, or this this guy right there is basically um, the contact where you need to go to actually um, buy your floaters, your beginning floaters. If you have like, you know, uh, the favors. You can buy them right there. Uh, the other option that I'm going to show you is right here through the Reputation tab. Reputation, go to the first one, Event Store, and this is going to uh, open up the event um, uh, the event window. There is Summer Event or uh, Winter Event. I'm just going to go over the Summer because that is what is going on right now. Scroll all the way to the bottom. You're going to see these are the new boards that they are also going to give you. But right now I'm going to cover the um, new uh, floaters. So you got the Impulse, the Niners. The Niners has to do with a, a Deep Space Nine episode or it was a two-piece uh, episode or three-piece episode. I don't remember. It's been a really long time where basically uh, the, cat or the crew of uh, Deep Space Nine actually challenged uh, the Vulcans out to a baseball uh, game. Uh, <laughs> also, <laughs> there was a Ferengi team. I think it was like... Uh, I forgot. Uh, I think there was also a Ferengi team, but mm, I don't know. Um, but there was like the, the Cisco team or the Deep Space Nine crew was actually called the Niners. And there was another one that I don't remember which. Uh, was it like a Vulcan ship or was it a starship that has to do with that had a lot of Vulcan crew. I don't remember the episode, but these guys were called the uh, logicians right here, because uh, logic, right? Logic, um, Vulcans, and uh, they also put up uh, two other ones uh, that are impulse uh, that are basically orange and uh, purple right here, or these the coloring of them, and also a blue and green. So I got myself the Niner right here, and you guys. Uh, probably saw it in my inventory these things basically go to your uh, devices tab so i'm going to grab myself uh this one and just replace it with the uh, newer version and i'm also going to show you how it looks 
when you have it on. Uh, basically, whenever, whenever you're going to equip new items uh, at default, they are, I think it's a 20 second cooldown or something like that. Uh, that has to do with, you know, you not swapping or hot swapping items to um, uh, to break the game, as it were. Uh, but this is how it looks like. This is the one that I bought. This is the Niners <laughs> uh, floater uniform. I definitely enjoy the accent right here with the red and the white. It's really cool colors. Um, now, there are a couple of different items, or at least the a different statistics that you need to... Uh, Think about whenever you're going to purchase. Obviously, the the better versions of these things are going to cost you more and more of those favors. Uh, right here, I have a couple of them um, to spare, <laughs> to say the least. And yeah, like I said, the better versions are going to cost you money. So you know, um, if you're starting out uh, in STO, grab yourself you know the one that is cheap and just do whatever uh, event that is going to uh, uh, go on right here. Uh, and just you know, you know until you have enough um, uh, resources spared up, and then grab yourself the better versions. So a couple of things to note: um, this thing has a flight speed of plus seventy. The one that I were, were using has a flight speed of plus fifty. So that means that this thing is going to zoom, zoom, zoom all over the place really fast. As you guys can, let me just remove the hood. As you guys can see, this thing is like. Yeah, it's like, it's like really, really fast. And I, whoa, look at how fast the thing is. This thing is like crazy fast. Also to note, if, um, if you want to go even faster than this, there is a triple that I currently have. You can find them on the exchange as well, or just make yourself one uh, the winter triple basically just have a triple in your inventory and just feed him or at least have like something that he can eat uh from like the winter event uh i think it was uh, i don't really remember which one it was if there's i think it was one of the newer versions uh one of these that he can eat and then you're going to have basically um get like a winter Tribble, uh, help me out guys in the comment section below which one it actually was uh, There is like a food item that you need to have in your inventory and basically just like a tribble Whenever you have food in your inventory is going to eat that um, uh, Eat that food or beverage or whatever you have and is going to reproduce itself and The new one is going to be based off what kind of food or you know a beverage you're going to have and the winter uh, Tribble right here Um Area of effect bonus during the winter event. So it is very nice to have this thing, even though it's not really corrected. Because it doesn't do... Wait a minute. I thought this thing... Okay, they changed the triple. Oh, this is the winter triple. <laughs> Sorry, there is also a summer triple. I think it was uh, this thing. Sorry, my bad. Uh, so <laughs> I was totally talking about something else, or at least I'm talking about the same subject but different statistics. So as you guys can see right here, if you pet this triple, it's going to give you a buff. Uh, this is going to give you a zero point. Uh, zero 0.5 health regeneration, that's basically okay, but not useful. Uh, plus 1% maximum hit points, okay, but not useful. Uh, during the summer event, that's something that is really useful right now. Plus 5 to um, flight speed to self and friends within uh, 4.5 meters uh, within 3,600 uh, th uh, 3, seconds, so that's basically an hour. And also 0 0.05 inertia to self and friends within 4.5 meters because whenever you're going to pet the circle, it's going to be an area of effect uh, that has to do with, you know, uh, the center of your location. Uh, everything around you within 4.5 meters of you is going to get the same buff. So um, even though my board and my... Um, uh, the floater that I'm currently uh, using has like a, a really high uh, flight speed and like, you know, uh, floater speed or a race rating that they call it is 88 for the uh, f uh, for the power board or hoverboard and for the uh, floater 70. This thing, if you pet it, is going to give you 
plus 5 to that. So it's going to be, what is this going to be? 75, and I think it's going to be 93 or something like that. So all together with a buff. So that is something I would definitely recommend, uh, even though it's going to cost you really, you know, high amount of uh, ease, or at least not easy, uh, those uh, favors. There are a couple of ways, like I said in this video, to uh, grab them. Um, these are expensive, like I said, but it's it's definitely, if you, if you want to like, you know, a little bit of a um, boost, or at least a little bit of an edge, definitely grab the uh, the new versions. Now, the other ones that I'm also going to show you are the emotes <laughs> that cost, how much? 600 uh, of these uh, Luna flavor, favors, flavors, they're not flavors, they're favors, <laughs> anyway, so emote right here, uh, you're out, let me grab that one, safe, baseball swing, uh, dance swish, I don't know what that is all about, and dance cupid, all right, I think I need to be, um, on sand to display these emotes, so here we go, uh, I'm still wet right now. Why am I still wet? My short was like all wet. But anyway, this is going to be the emote you're out. Okay, so we unlocked it. One emote. Um, right here, you are out. So dash emote. Uh, doesn't it do that like? Okay, it doesn't do that. Uh, let's go here. And then emotes. Now let me pin this one up right here, um, and then you're out. You are out. Where is the Y? All right, let me just look this up. Um, is it dance? Ferengi disco cheer. Oh, here we go. Baseball out. Here we go, and I'm also going to remove the HUD so you guys can actually see it in full action. Oh, nice. Let me try that again. You, out! <laughs> nice. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. All right, what is this? The other one is unlock safe. So that has to do with this one. Safe. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Save. Really cool. All right, next one. What is this? Uh, a baseball swing. Okay. And here we go. Swing. Uh-oh. Boom! Where did it go? Hey, look at the ball. <laughs> the ball is still there. Oh, look at this thing. And you also, and you actually heard a uh, a song being played. Let me try that again. Swing. Oh, that is freaking! And the ball are still are still remaining right here. The, the other one went really far, and ended up in the water. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that is definitely cool. Let's do that again. Oh, that is awesome. You actually hear the crowd actually cheer you up. Oh, that is freaking awesome. Okay, that did not go <laughs> really good, really far. Let's try again. <laughs> that is cool. I'm gonna like this emote. Oh, I didn't hit that good. Okay, last one. I don't know. I heard. I heard like a. Uh, let me do that one more time. I heard something like the limited time rewards have ended. You can still seek out artifacts, but oh, that's awesome. 
Okay, next one. What is this? Dance Swish. I don't know what that is. Uh, so we need to go to Dance and then... Uh, wish. Oh, here we go. You go away. Oh! Oh! Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, my character is really happy right now. <laughs> Okay, and the last one that we got from the emotes are uh, Cupid, Dance, um, Cupid, C, 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 Dance, Cupid. Okay, so it's stepping to the left, stepping to the right. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, look at that. She's turning around. Man, we definitely need some music right here. <laughs> oh, to, now I'm not moving the camera, guys. She's to totally moving on her own, or at least the character is moving on her own. Basically like an animated uh, thing right now. Oh, that's so cool. She basically did a 360 right now. <laughs> that's so cool. She gonna continue? Yeah, she's starting over. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's fine. Um, what else? What else? Um, I don't know if you guys want to see me dance though. Nah, I'll uh, I'll pass that one. All right, let's see what else do we got that is new on the um, uh, winter event. So we did grab all of these uh, emotes. Uh, we do have a couple of new um, items that we actually uh, can use, and these are nachos. These are basically going to give us, uh, you can, can see it on the top right of your screen, uh, hit points plus 5% in maximum shield capacity, plus 5 in maximum hit points uh, for 180 seconds, basically 30 minutes. And also plus 50% more effective during the uh, summer event. That's basically what's going on right now. Um, Hot Dog, really interesting because it gives you plus 5 all damage resistance. So if you want to buff up your character, be like, you know, more tanky. And also plus 5 to maximum shield capacity on top of plus 56% uh, hit points over 3.5 seconds. Um, Peanut. Peanut is really interesting because it gives you plus 5 in kit performance for uh, 30 seconds and also plus 5% in maximum hit points. Uh, caramel coated popcorn. Uh, something also interesting because also gives you plus 10, uh, no, plus 5 uh, kit performance for uh, 30 minutes. Uh, and also plus 5 to maximum shield capacity uh, with also uh, plus 50% more effective uh, during the summer event. So basically plus, uh, I say, I would say plus 10 in kit performance. Uh, so these are really interesting and also a new one, um, a stadium soft drink. 72% hit points over 3.5 seconds, plus 5 old damage resistance rating, and plus 5% bonus old damage for the next 3.6 thousand seconds. So basically, um, one hour. If memory serve, if math serves me correctly. So basically, plus 50% more effective during the uh, summer event. So basically plus 10% bonus to all damage. This is this is in ground, by the way. So all of these are basically in ground. They're also giving us new uh new uniforms. Um so we got this thing is definitely of that TV show. I don't really remember which episode it was, but it was Deep Space Nine, and this is what they were actually wearing. So it was really cool to see like all of the cast of DS9 uh not wearing, you know. Star Trek uniform, but they were actually wearing like baseball uniforms. So that was really cool. So you can have them. You can have those from yourself as well. There is a home and away option. To uh, I don't see the, any difference though. I mean, 
the the colors are just a little bit like faded out so you basically have these white and then the black stripes and on the away one it's like a little bit darker i don't know if i want to put some resources to grab these things but that's basically if you want really um you know uh like the the episode uh the log the low just uh science if i'm pronouncing that correctly these are basically the vulcan uh what they were wearing there is a home and away from them as well and also a uh katian claws this is new I don't think this is based off on the TV show, if memory serves me correctly. There weren't any Katians there. The Ferengan are liquidators. There we go. They're called the liquidators. Nice. Based on a Ferengi uh, colors. Home and away. Nice. Um, the rest is basically the same that we had like last year. A couple of new items that were introduced last year, but now they're like, you know, ancient history because it's already been a year. Um, we do have a new kit module, the Cyclonic Generator. It's basically a cyclone that is going to generate, uh, deploy a barometric cyclonical generator, which we in turn will manifest uh, pockets of conditioned air pressure that spin away from the device. The cyclone, as uh, a cyclone-like air pockets, will fill, uh, will pull in nearby targets, uh, subjecting them to extreme physical pressure and restraining them um, all the while. Uh, let's say pull towards seven second hold and physical damage every second for the next seven seconds. I'm actually going to show you this in a uh, engineering character, so stay tuned for that later on this video. Also, a very viru, virulent, virulent dark matter cloud. Uh, this. Subjects the target to extreme subatomic particle manipulation. They become dizzy and lightheaded until the un, uh, unable to perform precise motor functions or move quickly about. In this state, they are rendered vulnerable to attack on nearby allies. Uh, to those affected, could find themselves contracting the cloud as well. So basically, it also chains up to other targets as well. So spread up to fall within two meters of the target affected reduces target critical chance to zero while you are suffering this effect. Minus 27.5 old damage resistance rating 84.6 uh, run speed reduction for the next 20 seconds if you are in this thing. I'm definitely going to show it because it's really cool as it is sounding right now in uh, text and the tacticals. That is what I'm going to show you on, on Secura right now. Uh, calling a drone bombardment run of magnetic eruptions. Mag magmatic, magmatic eruptions. This drone will fire explosive lava. What? <laughs> will fire explosive lava projectiles in a line dealing severe da fire damage and leaving the target area smoldering after. Wow. Okay, nice. Deploy a drone towards uh, for 15 meters, creates five magmatic eruptions which deal fire damage and also fire damage every 0.5 seconds for the next 10 seconds if you are hurt or at least in the vicinity of this thing. All right, let me also um, grab a science character, engineering character and show you guys this in uh in a pvp match i'm 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 guessing <laughs> nice okay so we are back right here uh i also purchased the uh uh what is this thing called again the magmatic deployment all right area of effect fire damage deploys a drone towards for 18 meters so we are in a pvp right here and we got our favorite <laughs> dummy <laughs> that we are going to do um uh testing upon i really wish uh cryptic would actually give us some kind of like dummy that we can you know uh try out you know what works and what doesn't work you know so we don't have to do like pvp with another character the whole time so we can actually fire you know whatever we were want to test out towards the dummy that never dies 
and we can actually see if it works out or not. But anyway, this is another client that I'm running uh, simultaneously with and with my main character, and I'm actually going to fire this thing off. Um, and we are definitely going to see uh, the visual. So here we go in three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Look at this! Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Holy shit! Wow! All right, all right. <laughs> oh my! Wait! That didn't hit him. They didn't hit him. What is up with that? Let me do a demo record with this. Demo record. Uh, lava. That is what it's going to call be called. Wow, this entire region was filled like with lava. Are you kidding me right now? It said 18 or uh, what was it? 19 meters? 18 meters. So if your target is beyond that, you cannot activate this thing. So if we are at 20, we shouldn't be able to activate it. Or at least, oh, okay, so it uh, only does that in uh, towards your uh, your character, obviously. Wow, this entire region was filled with lava. Are you kidding me? Here we go again in three, two, one. Drone inbound. Wow, look at that. Oh, that is sick. This entire region is filled with, like, bombardment of lava, even though it didn't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. All right, let me do a, a little bit of a uh, playback from for you guys from the demo recording. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a demo record movie. Um, what I'm also going to do right now is I'm also going to deploy this thing um, and actually switch over to the other character so you guys can see uh, when, when this thing is going to be activated on your character. Let's say an enemy is going to, or at least a PvP match and somebody else is activating this thing on your character, right? So this is how it's going to look like. So and I'm going to switch to the other characters really fast. So here we go. And this is how it looks like. Oh man, your character, if it doesn't have any shields, your character is basically done for. Wow. Okay, my character has some kind of powers that are going on that is not um, really <laughs> helping it out. But it is, this entire region is filled with lava. Maybe Cryptic needs to address, address like the numbers or something or... Something that has to do with my character, but that is like definitely cool and overpowered, I think, visually wise. I don't know the numbers, if the numbers are correct or not, or if it's buggy, it's not working, but visually that was like crazy. But anyway, um, so I switched over to this guy. This guy is a science character, so we can actually see the other powers um, also... Uh, visually and you know all the statistics right here so it says area of effect minus crit ages critical chance uh, damage resistance and minus speed so this is the virulent dark matter cloud over the target for the next 20 seconds so here we go in three two one. Oh, oh, my character is like wow it's like inside a nebula kind of stuff wow that's so awesome Wow, that is cool. I like that. You can actually see, like, you know, it has a little bit of lightning. Ooh. Okay, that's the uh, effect that it had when it uh, ended over. I'm actually going to record this as well. Um, uh, demo record. Uh, neb uh, nebula. Let's try it again in three, two, one, go. Wow, that is so freaky. Okay, let me just switch over and actually see how it looks like on my actual character. That is cool. You can actually not see anything on your character. It's like fully enveloped. I like that one.
Nice. All right, so let's stop demo record. Cool. Um, now, what I need to do right now is switch this guy over uh, to a uh, engineering guy and then s uh, show that, what was it, tornado thingy? That, I, that is also new, so I'll be right back again. All right, so it switched over to another girl of mine that I'm using for uh, engineering build. And this one is uh, the, um, the Cyclonic Generator. This is basically the same um, uh, kit module that we got uh, for the engineers. So we had, uh, we actually saw the one that was plasma, or at least not plasma, it was lava. For the uh, tactical, we had the uh, nebula effect with the lightning strikes inside for science. And this is what it looks like for engineers uh, amongst us. So here we go in three, two, one. Whoa, look at that. Are you kidding me? Look at how many tornadoes this thing is making. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Check that out! It actually <laughs> lifted off my character! Whoa, look at that again! It's like... <laughs> wow, that is cool! It's lifting up my my character. Look at that again! <laughs> oh, that's basically the same animation from the Davidians, but that's nice. Where the Davidians actually get you up. Wow, that is... Wow, this thing is going to be overpowered in, in all kinds of stuff. Demo record, um, uh, what is this thing? Um, cyclone, let's do that. Wow, that is cool. So it actually made like, like cyclones all over this thing. Here we go again. And look at that. First it actually pushes it out, but then again, look at, it's like all over the place. Look at how many enemies this thing can hold. <gasps> oh man, this is this is cool. Look at that. It's actually taking away his shield or at least my character's shields. Wow, that's going to be overpowered. Like especially if you're fighting like I don't know if it's going to work with the Borg or not, but that's that is cool. And it's it's really short duration uh, cooldown. I mean, it was like five seconds or something like that. Like that, that it's not uh, actually active. Wow, I'm really liking this part. Here we go again. Wow, look at how many of these cyclones, tornadoes it actually uh, brings up. That's cool. And it actually uh, grabs the enemy and pulls him towards the tornadoes. Look, my character actually wants to go in here. Wow, that is that is freaking! I love this thing, man. I wish we could actually use this thing on a tactical one as well, tactical uh, characters as well. Wow, that is that's awesome. All right, let me switch back. From all um, three um, kit modules that we got, Tactical, Science, and Engineer, I really cannot say which one is my favorite. Guys, help me out. Let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite, because I'm seeing so many awesome things coming out of this summer event. That is crazy. I love it. I love it. Um, would definitely... Okay, so a little bit of a... Uh, rundown what you guys saw. So we got the Ryzen Triple. Definitely, um, you know, a advice from me to you guys to grab this thing either from the exchange or um, make it make it your own from uh, the uh, summer uh, the summer food uh, that could be like you know food or any drinks. 
Um, and watch the comment section because you guys are probably going to let me know which food is good and which is not good to actually make this thing. Uh, these things are definitely overpowered, as it say. These things are really awesome, even though I have not actually shown that. Um, let me do that right now. Um, I have not shown this thing how it looks like on the on the water. So uh, let me just do that right now. We need to go to the water, and then this thing is going to be active. There we go. A speed rating of 88 because I don't have that triple. Uh, no, I don't need that. I need to, the triples. Uh, triple, triple. Where is there we go? Ryzen triple. Let me activate this thing. So this thing is going to give you plus five. So this hoverboard should do more than that. It doesn't actually show, but it should do more than 88. It should be like 93 right now. But look at how fast this thing is going. This thing is like running, <laughs> running out of room right there. This thing is crazy, crazy fast. It's like the fastest board that we currently have in the game. Very nice. And obviously the floaters are really cool, the new ones. These are really fast as well. You can actually see them going really fast. Very nice. Even though it's going to cost you a lot to obtain these things, but at the end, I would say it's definitely worthwhile because you're going to get so many uh, rewards out of that if you're going to do the races with these things. Are you know they're going basically are going to pay for themselves. Um, the emotes were really funny. <laughs> I had a blast with those. The um, the new kit modules, awesome. I hope they are going to be very useful, but visually very pleasing. Uh, let me rotate this thing around so you guys can actually see my character. But visually pleasing, definitely awesome. These things are awesome. Uh, what else? What else? Um, I don't know about the ship, though. Uh, the ship is going to remain a mystery right now. Um, I'm going to do a video about that. Stay tuned. Um, these foods are really awesome. Very insane. Plus, uh, you know, the kit performance is awesome, even though I'm definitely going to um, show this one as well, the Bajoran Mojito. Mojito is really awesome because it gives you plus 10 in kit performance. Think about that, plus 10 in kit performance. And right now, uh, during the summer event, it is plus 50% more effective, so think about that. Um, anyway, these things are also awesome, all of the new items that they gave us. Really looking forward to... Um, to doing all of the other ones as well so we got a couple of new events that are coming up uh, that i'm going to do a review about and i hope to see you there as well so i would say take care and uh who is this guy lotta all right nice hello lotta all right uh that's it that's it for this video hope to see you guys on the uh next videos as well take care for now and uh, later